All right. Well, guys, so we're here with uh, with Payne and Ben, uh, with Alphapex, the you know main sponsors of the event. And really, I just wanted to, to meet with you guys and talk about what the products that you're bringing, why you focused on what you did, really what brought you to where you're at now, and what your future looks like. So. Go ahead. Tell me. Tell me about your your first miner, the first machine that you guys put out. What was that? I'll I'll give this uh, to Ben. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm Ben, and uh -huh. I'm the VP of product um, for Foundation Logic, the maker of for uh, Alpha Packs. So our first product uh, is the DG1 Doge and Lycon miner. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's designed to be uh, used in the industrial mining facilities, uh, those kind of settings. Um, and it has uh, 11,000 uh, mega hash per second. Uh, okay. And then at uh, 3,420 volts and an efficiency of 0.31 uh, drill per mega hash. So this is our first model. Um, we also have like a, a second pro model called DG1 Plus, yep. which has uh, 14, um, thousand mega hash uh, per second compared to the regular model. So these two models have been uh, like available for the global customers for over um, three, four months now. Okay. Yeah, and they have been running in the, um, like different um, like minor farms uh, environments. Yeah. And it has been pretty well received. Good. And the defective rate is very low, um, and the customers like across the globe love it. Yeah. Good. And uh, at Mining Disrupt uh, 2024, and we are very exciting to just announce a new model for home mining. So this is uh, designed to let the mining hobbyists and uh, enthusiasts to mine at home. And they are quiet, and they are like plug and play, and it can be run on the 110 volts. Yeah. Yeah, so that's like pretty much uh, suitable for use uh, at home. Yeah. Very impressive. So, what are the specs on the new miner? So, the new miner is a spec at the two G, like okay. uh, two thousand mega hash per yeah. second, and uh, power consumption of uh, a little bit over six hundred volts. Oh wow! Yeah. And it's it's liquid cooled, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's pretty much silent. Yeah, it's yeah. very whispering, quiet, even mining at full speed. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, what what do some of the people need to know when they when they buy one of these liquid cooled machines? Right, like ambient temperature has a lot to do with keeping it, keeping it cool. So you don't want to put it in, say, a mining shed mm -hmm. that's got other ASICs that exactly. are 100 and something degrees yeah. in the shed. This right. is meant to go next to your gaming PC or under your Xbox, right? Right, right. right. Okay, okay. So yeah, so uh, you know we can uh, show more, you know, pictures or videos perhaps in a video. But yeah. We have one, a few units sitting right here. Uh, I was joking about it, right? Like, because because I wanted to have one of our ASIC miners at home mining in my apartment. But my girlfriend will kill me. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so this is perfect for that, right? It looks just like a computer. You can put it in your bedroom, even living room. If you go there and hear it, there's it's, it's dead silent. Right? Yeah. There's nothing going on. There's yeah. no, no no noise at all. Uh, so very it's perfect for for home mining. So to get into the mining game, right? For for hobbyists and enthusiasts, like you said, right. Ben. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And and there's one running running right behind me here. Yeah. And you can't even like we can't hear it. You, I mean, the ambient noise on the mics is probably picking up a lot, but yep. they're not going to be able to hear it. They can hear probably hear the the big ASIC that's sitting over there. Right. Which is even more. It's. I'm surprised at how quiet the big ASIC is. Is mm. that running on like a low power mode or something right now? Uh, right. Yeah. So the 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 bigger one is actually running full speed. Yeah, okay. but we utilize because we utilize very efficient uh, materials, and we design our in-house chip uh, using like advanced Samsung technology. Okay. So uh, it's very quiet. Like the fans doesn't have to walk crazy to like exhaust the heat out. Yeah. So that is why like uh, our machine is uh, relatively silent compared to like our. Competitors. Yeah. If you put that next to an L7, it's I mean it's night and day at how much quieter that is. Yeah. Like even in a in a full spectrum, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's yeah. Not, it's impressive. It really is. And with the lower speed of the fans, like you can get longer life, basically, right? Yes, yes, good deal. So what? And you kind of went into a, a lower failure rate. What do you see on your on your big ASICs? Like what is what is something that everybody needs to look out for that's running these? Like what can they do to help eliminate or lower that that failure rate for you? Yeah, so I would say um, our machine has been uh, rigorously tested uh, before uh, like we're shipping out to the customers. So uh, we want to make sure at the factory side uh, they, we, we like minimize the defective rate as much as possible. Okay. But when running and operating the machines, uh, we definitely want to like uh, have a better uh, ventilation setup, right? Like um, don't have too many dust or moisture in the environment. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. That, that would help like um, prolong the service life much, much longer. Yeah. And we have a team of experts uh, 
that are like uh, providing technical support uh, at our Montreal support center. Okay. And those people, they have very knowledgeable uh, experience uh, from the mining industry. Um, so they can they can provide like any technical support in oh, case cool. our yeah. customers uh, like have any questions. Awesome. Yeah. You guys, I mean, obviously you'll ship everywhere, but do you have suppliers here in the United States or is everything on the slow boat from China? Yeah, um, so our, our machine is uh, being manufactured uh, in Asia to utilize the lower cost of the like, supply chain and sure. stuff. Sure, makes sense. Yeah. And, but we have uh, like a contract with uh, Big Cruiser in uh, Dallas, Texas okay. to provide um, like, timely repair needs. So in case oh, any nice. machine has any issues uh, in North America, you can get uh, fixed quickly nearby in Texas. Okay, okay, very cool. So when can we expect to get this new home miner then? So this uh, new miner is uh, scheduled to come out in Q4. Okay. So we have a couple machines already running stable, as you can see, um, like back there. But we want to make sure like the product we ship to the customer is absolutely perfect. So we want to like use a little bit more time to like optimize the stuff and make things um, like more rigid. Okay, yeah. so this so, will be perfect for a Christmas present then. Exactly. Absolutely. It's gonna yeah, be perfect absolutely. timing, look at that. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So what what made you focus on script and not, you know, SHA-256 or ETH Classic or any of the other, you know, tons of algorithms that are out there or CASPA? CASPA's, you know, the new hot thing right now. What? Why didn't you come out with a CASPA ASIC and focused on script instead? Yeah. Yeah, maybe uh, I can take that question. It's a good question. Yeah. Uh, so the, the reason why we picked uh, script is very meticulous decision. Right? It's not just a, a random track that we picked, right? So number one, Bitcoin obviously being very crowded uh, track, right? There's only about 3% of Bitcoin left to be mined. Uh, so a lot more competition there. Yeah. Number two, uh, kind of similar to what I mentioned, you know, what we mentioned in the, in the keynote earlier today, there are many benefits to script, right? Higher profitability, uh, so proof of work, uh, uh, you know, ecosystem, uh, you know, obviously you're dual mining both Litecoin and Dogecoin. Dogecoin doesn't have any halving. Litecoin only has like, I think, two halvings. So there's a longer life cycle, right, to the game of script. Yeah. Small ecosystem, there's more room to grow. So many, many reasons to it, right? That's why we picked this track in particular. And when you talk about the longevity or uh, the, the sustainability of the coin, right, when you look at Litecoin and Dogecoin, Dogecoin obviously being uh, uh, the people's coin, right? Yeah. Uh, has that meme factor to it, which is staying, is not going away, right? And then you have big supporter like, supporters like Elon Musk behind the, behind the coin. More and more functions are coming out for Dogecoin, right? Yeah. Now you can do layer two, you can do payments, so on and so forth, right? So it's only gonna get better. Litecoin by itself, right? Where, where it started is, is improvement, um, is a fork from Bitcoin, right? Mm -hmm. So there's improvements to it. Uh, so you kind of having that stability and also the upside from bo both coins. Okay. And there's a potential of having uh, another coin to be merged by soon, right? That's what we heard. Uh, so that's that even adds more value to mm -hmm. Script. Right. So those are some, you know, m m some of the reasons that w why we picked Script okay. to focus on. Okay. Cool. Yeah. What's the what's the other coin? That you say can be also merge mined at the same time. Yeah, I think uh, I think it's called Bells. Bells, yeah, that's right. So you can merge mine all three of them at the, at once. Hopefully in the near future. Very cool. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so some of the pools we work with, like Luxor, like Nice Hash. Yeah. Uh, they're they're able to pay you out in Bitcoin. Of course. Right. So yeah. if you want to have, if you're a Bitcoin maxi, if you have like Bitcoin holding strategies, you can still use the you use the pool to get paid out in Bitcoin. So eventually, what it's doing is you're you're mining more Bitcoin with a script miner than with an actual Bitcoin yes. miner. Yeah. Right? So that's the amazing part of it. Uh, and like you said, you can you can mix and match your own strategies. Maybe hold on to part of Bitcoin, part of Doge, part of Bell, part of Litecoin, whatever you want to do. Yeah. To shoot for different upsides and, 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 and stability. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. So where do you guys where do you guys see going from here? Uh, and I, I know that you've got a new home miner. Are you focusing more on industry, like industrial size, or home? Or are you trying to have that sweet spot like in between? Yeah. Maybe I'll start first. Uh, so, so the, the 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 philosophy we have right, is to be everyone's mining partner. Yes. Uh, doesn't matter if you're you're a big uh, uh, pub call or mm -hmm. if you're someone who want to buy one or two units, right? That's why we have the whole miner. Yeah. We want to get more people into the world of mining, right? From from something that's easy. And contribute uh, to the proof of work, right? Yes. So the more people and the more machines that participate in this network, it makes the network stronger. Makes right? it more decentralized. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. The more options that there are for miners, for the end users, the more, the better it is for the entire ecosystem, right? There's more competition, so if manufacturers can have better product, 
the, the, the eventual beneficiary are the, the end users. So that's kind of what we want to be here to do and to, to provide options uh, and give everyone opportunity to get into mining. Yeah. Yeah. So as for future products, uh, as you can see, we demo uh, in, in the demo area. We also showcase uh, some uh, uh, like a, a HPC compatible to you, like a liquid miners. Okay. Yeah. It's still under development, but we want to like, give you guys a, a sneak peek, yeah. early sneak peek of uh, how things look like uh, uh, for, for the real product Very that cool. is coming out um, maybe um, later this year. Okay. Yeah. So we can yeah. like slide that into a server rack exactly. just with the rest of our, our, our yeah, servers yeah. that we've got out there. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Very yeah. cool. Runs so, on 220, I'm assuming, um, or 240? Yeah. Two, 220 yeah. or maybe like even higher. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's very interesting. That'd yeah. be cool. Mm -hmm. Same. What's the the um, specs going to be on that one? So this specs, you mean the home miners? No, no, no. The the one that you're gonna the rack oh, mount. That that one's still uh, under development, so oh, okay. we haven't figured out the exact. Specs All right, so you're yet. just giving me a sneak peek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah super yeah. secret. Got yeah. it. But we have the actual stuff like uh, showcasing it. We are not just like yeah doing some like photoshopping. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, is there anything else that you guys want to express and exclaim to you know any of the viewers or? or anybody that's not here at this awesome event today? Um, so, you know, we are a, people think we're a new company on the scene, right? Yeah. Uh, we re released our first two products this year, but uh, I think what people should know is that this company has existed for four years. Okay. Uh, a lot of R&D work went on behind the scene, right? We wanted, like Ben said earlier, yeah. we want to provide the best product when we announce and when we release it. We want to have availability to, to sell, right? To, to give to the miners. Uh, so a lot of work went into the, you know, went, went on behind the scene and that's kind of how we can present the best product to you. Uh, encourage everyone to, to learn a bit more about Script, right? It's a, it's a very fascinating track to be on. Uh, learn a bit more about the company. Uh, you know, follow us on, on social. We're on uh, LinkedIn and, and Twitter, uh, both Alpha Packs. Uh, and then, you know, follow me and Ben. We're, we'll share some exciting news, some uh, behind the scene, uh, maybe information uh, on, on social as well. Uh, so it's, uh, I think it's a good time to be in mining. Right? Yeah. We're hoping to have another bull run, and hopefully this time it, it lasts a little longer. I think it's just around the corner. Uh, and here, uh, as a company, we want to take the right steps. We want to do the right things for the industry. Uh, we don't want to take any shortcuts, right? We'll never take any shortcuts. Yeah. And we're here to, uh, you know, provide knowledge, provide educational pieces, provide hardware. Provide the service. Uh, provide the good service uh, to help this ecosystem as a whole. Yeah. Uh, so that's what we're here for, and hopefully, uh, you know, we'll be able to achieve that with uh, the community here we have in the States. Great. Yeah. Great. And I think that, that answered my last question, what sets you apart from Bitmain? <laughs> and it's the level of service and the quality, I think, is, is going to be your, your key factor there. Yeah, I think it's a pretty frequently asked question. Uh, so first of all, I, I want to kind of uh, preface that by saying, you know, Bitmain has done a lot of great things for the industry, right? Yeah. Without Bitmain, uh, you know, we probably wouldn't be here with the hardware that they, they supply, with the, yeah. the amount of work they've done for, for the whole industry. So we appreciate that. We, we really, uh, again, we want to have more, provide more options to the industry. Like us being here kind of does that. And, <clears throat> and it's good to see more and more manufacturers coming onto the scene, right? Yeah. It, doesn't, it doesn't matter if it's in the Bitcoin world or That's in true. the altcoin world. Uh, so uh, I think for us, right, like we, again, we're, 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 we're new, we're, we're a new player in town. So we want to be able to compete and offer the best, right? It doesn't, doesn't matter if it's the product okay. or the service or the repair capability. Uh, everything, right? So we want to be able to help the industry set the center in a sense, right? And and really, again, benefit the, the end users, the miners yeah. out there. Fantastic. Well, good deal. Thank you, guys. I appreciate your time. It was great to meet and talk with you. Thank you, sir. And uh, we'll see you around here soon. Absolutely. Awesome. Thanks. Thank you for the time. Thank you.